Hello, listeners. Are you a geek? Do you like podcasts? If you answered yes, then come on down and listen to Geek Wars, a trivia game show podcast where 12 teams will compete to prove once and for all who is the greatest geeks of them all. Come play along as our competitors struggle to answer questions like which villain is known as the world eater? I have an idea, but I don't think it's right. What is the first ever created Pokemon? Oh, I literally have no idea. What is the name of the blaster that was made famous by the smuggler Han Solo? Gosh, I got, I'm drawing blanks here. Season 1 has players from Battle Bars, Cypher Speak, DMnastics, Going in Blind, Lining Up Pod, Magic Item Review, Party of One, The RPG Academy, Sneak Attack, We're So Bad at Adventuring, Whelmed, The Young Justice Files, Zeros Talking Heroes, and more. So what are you waiting for? Download and listen to Season 1. And be prepared, because Season 2 is coming. Thanks for listening, and now, enjoy the show. Recognized, Uncle Walker, D-0-1. Recognized, Emily of Arden, D-1-2. Recognized, Joe Moniak, D-0-5. Initiate Intel Update. Hello, team. A quick message to say there won't be an episode this week. Transmission interrupted. Producer Neil here. And rather than let that be true, I have some bloopers. So, we'll let Rich tell you some more, and then we'll get straight to that blooper reel. Resume transmission. Since Caleb and I started Whelmed over a year ago, we've managed to keep as many as a dozen episodes recorded and ready to go in case of life emergencies. Because of that, we were able to air 100 episodes in the first year of the show, even when we couldn't record for a month or more. Over time, we've slowly nibbled into our buffer, and due to a few unforeseen emergencies and life needs, our buffer is currently empty, and we're working to build it back up. We have discussions, Secret Origins, Super Sweethearts, and more scheduled for months on out, but for example, we've had to reschedule a number of discussion guest interviews due to sick kids, power outages, and in one case, a flooded home. Sorry, Jim. But this is just a short delay. Thanks to backers of Patreon, we are now working on our first Elseworlds review. That's right. We'll be bringing you well styled deep dives into DC's incredible library of animated films. And our first review is one of my personal favorites, Batman Under the Red Hood. Our webmaster, Ryan Bolter, and friend of the show, Richard Kreutz Landry, have been working their tails off for a while now to get everything up and running. They've even broken the show down into playlists. Reviews, discussions, super sweethearts, secret origins are all available to binge. You can find that at crashingthemode.com slash YouTube. In another bit of hopefully good news, we've recently confirmed that there will be a Young Justice panel at San Diego Comic-Con this year. Though it's not a big surprise that there'll be one, we're pretty impressed that it's already being set up. These things are usually last minute. That also means that hopefully, they'll soon be letting the cast and crew off the leash for Young Justice-focused interviews. We've been in contact with Greg, Brandon, and other members of the cast and crew since our show started. So once they're given the go-ahead, look forward to interviews with Greg, Brandon, character designer Phil Barassa, Nicole Dubuque, writer of fan-favorite episodes like Failsafe and Image, Andrew Robinson, writer of The Game-Changing Disordered, Vanessa Marshall, voice of Black Canary, Hera in Star Wars Rebels, Wonder Woman in Crisis on Two Earths, and so many other incredible characters. So thank you for your patience while we get our busy lives together and look forward to Elseworlds Under the Red Hood coming up soon. Stay whelmed, everyone. Initiate blooper reel. So where can people find you out on Earth Earth Crime? Let's try that one one more time. (laughs) Sorry, hold on one second. I'm getting... Uh, big time sirens. Sorry, Neil, I live near the White House. Uh. <laughs> that's not that's not encouraging at all. <laughs> it's not. We're actually moving in a week, uh, but uh. it's like, oh, we live near the White House. Yeah.
there's a lot of fires and police involvement <laughs> oh, around no. the White House. <laughs> there's just a lot of uh, motorcades, motorcades that pass by. So. Oh, 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 okay. That so. makes much more sense. <laughs> I, I had something that's lost. Give me a second. Let me get, let me get it back. You're okay. old. I am old. I have, I have old man brain. The writer for this episode, or this episode, see, we're going to be doing that the whole time. This yep. issue, the writer, the writer for this issue. Mm-hmm. I, I, clearly, I clearly read these so well before saying them out loud. <laughs> this is Rich. I am now recording and on pain meds. This is Emily, and I am now recording after... Like, just remembering I need to turn my fans off. <laughs> Whoosh. And that's my roommate making fun of me in the background. Whoosh. I love it. So today we are dealing with issues to... Dealing with. I love it. Take so two. So today... <laughs> Take three. You want me to, you want oh, me I can, to start? I'm going to start. Whatever you want. I'll, I'll do whatever you... The... <laughs> We're great at this. Okay, I'll start. So, okay, go for it. Uh, I'll I'll start. Go. Okay, if you're gonna start, then start. I'm doing it. <laughs> Don't stop me. So, on a big picture front, this uh, you're not allowed this... to talk. What? You're not allowed to start. Am I? Okay. <laughs> I was joking. Go ahead. All right. Remember to also. That's not my line. Sorry. Please continue to hashtag buy YJ Comics on Comixology. It's the perfect way to read along with all of us. Read al- all of us? All two of us. I'm, I don't know. Are you the Joker? Is there a lot of people living in there? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Just check. So I'm- Testing. This is Rich Ooh. and I am now recording. This is Neil. This is- I'm recording. So is Emily. <laughs> this is Emily, and I am now recording because I talked over Neil because we weren't Sorry. sure who went next. Because Sorry, Neil. Three people is a I lot. Was too bu- Sorry, I was too busy looking up the name of the 2004 classic, Move by Ludacris, which was the first song <laughs> that I was singing. So there you go. <laughs> and Neil has killed Emily. All right, here we go. <laughs> Rich has wandered away from the computer, and so we will sit here in silence until he returns. He has to go investigate something. Hello, Megan. One of us always has to say that, like, there's like a compulsion that one of us has to. We can't just have a blank spot. It's written. If you don't do it, I do it's it. It's written in the outline, so I feel like I'm That's supposed true. to say it. Part of the script. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's, re- it's reading your stage directions out loud. Uh, <laughs> right, exactly. But it gets cut, so it's fine. Uh, and of course, the moment I say that, that means Neil won't cut it and I'll sound like an idiot. Um, but moving on to the actual segment. The episode tie-in for this one is that it takes place to a... To, do, 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 ah, yeah. So... Your next mission, Batman, blah ba da ba doo ba doo. Because we can't leave silence because we're trash. Okay. That's right. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, Rich needed caffeine and a carbonated soda is perfect for podcast recording. Uh, Rich, no. Years of theater. You do not drink soda before a performance. That is not how oh, this I'm works. Sure. Okay. Make I'll better choices points. for your vocal cords, Rich. <laughs> That the thing. Sorry, Superboy says. Ah, uh-huh, the Superboy says that the thing he remembers most. That would be better to have actual words that make sense. Superboy, and... that the thing he remembers most. Um... <laughs> McGann asks what he remembers of being in the Cadmus Pod, and Superboy says that the thing he remembers most, the one thing that was always on. Well, I can't even read. I can't read a thing that is a quote from the issue that I read. Wow, I'm great. One thing that's always on my mind is destroying Superman. Dramatic pause. Wait a month. Move on. Okay. McGann. (laughs) Try that last sentence again. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to try the whole thing again right there. Okay. (laughs) McGann asks what. (laughs) Sorry. 
Is it because I messed okay, up the name McGann when I'm I attempted it for a I'm million times? Okay. No, I'm just laughing at myself okay. and you and us and the show. Okay, go ahead. Uh, we see several panels of Superman destroying buildings and hurting. Let me try that again. I might put an emphasis on the T there. And they're not, yeah, they're not mentioned my name. And I just had someone ring my doorbell, so sorry about that. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't remember what I said. Oh, God, I have to do that all over again. Sorry. <laughs> Did I do that twice? Wait a minute. That's not right. Let's change this. Use enjoy one too many times in that scene. You're so going to super duper and enjoy it. Series of graphic novel collections, both from DC and other comics. Let's see what happens. There we go. <clears throat> okay, let's move on to some artistic license. Uh, <laughs> in artistic license, we'll be recommending individual issues, miniseries, and graphic novel collections, both from DC, the uh, DC, and other companies who will have. <clears throat> yeah. Rip. One more time. What's up? Just, just go. You can do it. I believe in you. Hold on. Oh, oh! I thought you were telling me that my thing was skipping again. No. Okay, here we go. <sighs> No, 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 no. Stop okay. it. Stop it. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, say, my, I'll say my line. I'm sorry. I, I clicked open uh, the Nightwing Year One in another tab because I wanted to see it. And I clicked on one of the issues. And when you click on something on Comixology, you can see the first few pages of it. And one of those uh-huh. issues opens up with Nightwing in the most ridiculous acrobat pose, and it made me laugh really hard. So I'm sorry oh, about really that. I'm really to go check it out. That's all right. I'm going to check it out myself right now. Which com- which uh, which issue did you click on? The one with the him first and one? Batgirl on the cover. At four, number four. Ah, got you. And then I clicked on the cover, and I'm like, oh, oh let's look uh... at this first page. And it's just that. Oh, see what's it- inside? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Classic Nightwing with his butt up in the air and his legs split. That one? <laughs> yeah. I'm with like, the bat this signal is, behind him? I'm like, Dick Grayson, this is not practical. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nightwing Classic. is drawn like the strong female character of the DC universe that he is. <laughs> he really is. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. So... <laughs> after right. that tangent that hope <laughs> let me say my real lines sorry go about for that it. perfect there you go Ish. also neil likes it when, when we talk to him in the future hi neil neil he loves it. hello neil he look behind you neil look right behind <laughs> you <laughs> don't look out the window neil see what's behind you but do not <laughs> glance into the window don't Stay, Stay well, everyone. everyone. <laughs> Just try it again. Ready? I don't know if it's going to work. We'll try. Noel? All right. We can try. <laughs> we will I'm do just it. Saying. Noel? I think we will do it. <laughs> Ready? So, one, two, three, stay whelmed. Ready? One, two, three. Stay, stay whelmed, whelmed, everyone. That's perfect. Okay. That's it. <laughs> that was great. What's the name of your editor again or producer? Uh, the Is amazing, the amazing Neil Powell. Neil, please make it sound good. Neil, I want to sound Neil. like a god. I want to sound like a god. <laughs> everything <Neil>. I say, <laughs> auto tune my whole everything I say. Yes, Neil. I want it to be to the tune of "Baby One More Time" by <laughs> Britney Spears. Auto tune everything I say. "Baby One More Time" by Britney Spears. <laughs> Neil always makes this sound amazing. We love you, Neil. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. Neil, I edit my own podcast. I know the kind of tortures you go through. Thank you so much. You're God among men. <laughs> <laughs> there she stops the armed rib- rib- ribery? That's not a R- word. R- rivalry. Armed rivalry. Rivalry, robbery, bribery, all at once <laughs> into <laughs> one gigantic ultimate crime. There she stops the armed robbery of a convenient source. <sighs> I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat my lunch. So well, <laughs> we've been doing so well up till now. We almost got through a full page. We did. We got through almost a full page. Chris is also a writer, a game designer, and convention coordinator. Basically, if you're part of the role playing game podcast, 
Did I get all these numbers right? Okay, I think I did. <laughs> did we? Right. That's really the question. I don't know. Right. Can we get numbers right? <clears throat> Looks right to me. Is that right? Did I do that right? Do you want me to go check? Do I need to go Young Justice Wiki this? Yeah, can you double check that? I wrote I wrote all that stuff, all this lead in a while ago. It sounds it sounds right to me. It sounds right. It does sound right, but I just want to make sure. So I, didn't I know your up. release dates are right because I was just checking something about that the other day, but okay, then it's all probably right. But I'll I'll check the set in between things because the Young Justice Wiki, fun fact, actually has a where does this tie in section of each of the comics pages on their wiki. Nice. They have a continuity section. You should probably use that instead of doing it manually. Cause we're we're we wanna we wanna put in the work. Uh, God. Right. Does take place two weeks before downtime, so I'm assuming right. the rest of it's correct because that is the yeah. weirder thing to have to follow. Okay, that's great. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Bloopers. The, the writers for this. <laughs> Hello, bloopers. Hello, Megan. <laughs> so dumb so dumb that i always pause we, for a sound effect that to. doesn't happen we have to it's part of it you do it so i don't have to it's great i i listened i i almost broke into tears at work when uh, that little guitar started playing under you i was like oh, that's too much <laughs> seriously neil because he does that with emily's um super sweethearts right but he's never done it on anything that I've done because I haven't done a secret origin since he started doing the doing the stuff. And so mm -hmm. he's got you know, caught with the guitar. I was like, dude. Dude. Yeah, I wanted to punch him in the nuts. <laughs> Good thing that's recorded. All right. <laughs> I know all of you now. The uh writer for the episode just won this time. Greg Weissman, the penciler, you Christopher mean the, Jones. The issue. <laughs> what did I say? Episode? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> every time. Every We're going to keep time. doing this the whole series. <laughs> the writer for this issue, just one <laughs> writer for the issue. <laughs> I'm killing Emily. All right. Try, one more time. try and time it when you're, when I'm trying to get the best spit take out of you, but I, I haven't, I haven't perfected it yet. No. Okay. Wait, you ready to take a drink? Ready? And okay. Always me. I'm always the one who has to wait for the non-existent sound clip. I'm waiting because I could do it. I want to do it, but I can just wait knowing that you have to do it. Because <laughs> somebody's got to do it. And it's usually me. Rich is, Rich is cruel. This is unfair. That's what I do with my kids, too. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> I start these earworm songs. Like they, they watch Daniel Tiger or whatever, and I start the song, and, and then I just stop it in the mid-sentence, and then... You can see their faces, and they just have to finish the song. It's fantastic. That that mm. truly is cruel. <laughs> it's, that it's truly my, it's, is it's, cruel. It's the only dad joke I've got. <laughs> All, right. All right, go for it. Mission brief. Okay. I couldn't figure out, what's a group of ninjas called? A flock of ninjas? <laughs> a squad? A darkness of ninjas? I don't know. A, I a silence? So. A quietness of ninjas. That's what it is. I'm a sorry, I have to, I want to Google it now. Are we Googling that now? <laughs> I just need to know if there's an actual answer. Is there? And are they ninjas? I'm not, I don't know. That may just be, may just be bad, bad research on my part. <laughs> we're really, we're really pausing for this. Is that what's happening? <laughs> okay. I just, I just found a random answer from someone on the internet who probably doesn't know what they're talking about, but has deemed that it would be a flip out of ninjas. A flip out of ninjas. <laughs> which makes no sense. Put this in the blue for real, Neil, because this is dumb, and I can't believe I took the time to do this. I just really wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On to the next section. That's you. I promise, I promise we're a serious podcast that knows what we're doing. <laughs> it's just a reminder. I'm, yep. I'm, Put things I'm in perspective. Sorry. I'm sorry. While you were talking, my mind decided to hand me the answer to the ninja question two minutes too late, <laughs> which just get, giving me flashbacks to Artemis talking about ninja clans and ninja boyfriends and old movies that she totally okay. saw the other night. I'm like, yeah, sure. Maybe that's the answer. I don't what know. Is, what it's is dumb. It? What's the answer? 
You're gonna leave me hanging like this. Now I need another answer. I like I quietness like, of ninjas. N- ninja clan, like oh, just clan, oh, ninja clan. Because I don't know. Well, but it's not the whole clan. It's just a group, True. subgroup of them. I just thought it was right? a weird conversation that we had this, and then my mind was like, "Hey, remember that whole bit with Artemis in season one and ninjas?" And I'm like, "Yeah, that was that your was a your brain. Bit. Your brain skipped to a romantic interlude in the show. Is that what you're trying to say?" <laughs> Am I really this this predictable? This is my shocked face. I'm shocked. All right. Let's move on. We're sorry, Neil. We're sorry. Just cut out all of our nonsense. I got to pick up my kids. Let's go. Okay. I'm hurrying. (laughs) I'll I'll be better. I'll I'll podcast better. Yeah, I did it. Nailed it. it. I didn't swear (laughs) once. Oh, dang it. Uh, that's, going in, that's going in the bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's for issue 12. And then our, our I was going to say something clever, and um, that failed. Let's try that again. Flashback. We cut to months earlier where Talia is seeking her father's approval of her relationship with a low-level member of the League of Shadows named Matthew Hagen. It's implied that Raish would prefer her to date Batman, but Talia claims that will never happen. She wants to be with Matthew because he likes her for her and sees her as so... I'm sorry. You can, you can I, tell I didn't I write wrote, this. this. I like... Like, I, I wrote this yesterday, and I, I think it's hilarious that you can tell that you clearly didn't write this, but I think it's also hilarious that I had to write these sentences because... This is what happens. This is a teen rom-com <laughs> level of a conversation right. between a daughter and her dad. Right. I want you to date Batman. He's more respectable. No, dad. <laughs> Matthew likes me for me. Like, this, these are lines I had to interpret. Yeah. I'm sorry. Once, Feel free once to her to date it. Batman was like, yeah. I choked on my drink because I had to hear that phrase out loud and realized how ridiculous it sounds. <laughs> but that's like, <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. the family friendly way of putting this whole scene. <laughs> right. Feel free to, feel free to mentally edit this paragraph and right. say it however you would like, Rich. <laughs> I, I don't think I will. <laughs> I think I'm going to I think I'm going to do another take and leave it just the way it is. <laughs> I can't believe that in a show about teenage superheroes, the most teen rom-com conversation I have it's had to read in these Rage. comics is between two <laughs> supervillains about dating Batman. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, everyone. I've killed Rich. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, Neil's got material. <laughs> <clears throat> Blooper reel. Okay. <sighs> Pull okay. it together. Pull it together. Let's <laughs> see if I can get through this paragraph. <clears throat> you can't. She wants to be with Matthew because he likes her for her and sees her as something more than just Ra's al Ghul. <laughs> you were doing so well. I'd... Ra's al Ghul, baby. <clears throat> My favorite supervillain. <laughs> <laughs> I write dumb notes, Rich. That does not mean you have to read them. But they're so good. They're just catching me off guard because I didn't read it first. Here's how we here's how we tell that Rich doesn't read any outline I read before before we do this. My dumb jokes catch him off guard. I didn't have time this morning. It was a very busy weekend. I don't blame you. It's okay. <clears throat> okay. I don't know what Neil's gonna cut out of that. <laughs> <clears throat> You could just say the last sentence again. I'll say the last the sentence break. again, but I'm, it's going to be a hard with a straight face. Turns out two of them were, wow, I can't read my own. <clears throat> wow. I like cut back a sentence and hashtag, was like, what if I just read things? Hashtag again? cold breakup. <laughs> uh, there, there was no, there is no, there is no breakup. There was ha- no relationship. Hashtag, hashtag frosty breakup. 
everyone's favorite Wendy's snack. <laughs> Frosty breakup. <laughs> okay. I am so sorry, Neil. I do not know what's <laughs> happening. We end the issue with the next scene from downtime with Batman giving Aqualad an ultimative. An ultimative. Yeah. It's like, it's like a sandwich. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. We end the issue with the next scene from downtime. Is that right? There's a few typos in this paragraph I'm, I had to skip Yeah, over. I wrote this late at night while waiting for the Oscars to start, <sighs> yeah, so I'm sorry. It's better than me doing it in my car while parked trying to don't, see don't patients. Don't write and drive. Yeah, well, yes. Yes, I. Was I. <laughs> anyway. That was a hilariously bizarre episode. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That was that was pretty ridiculous, but I kind of think it turned out fabulous. <laughs> I needed that laugh, that <laughs> continuous laughing. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to stop recording. <laughs> trash. <laughs> this is Rich, and I am now recording. This is Emily, and I am trash that is now recording. <laughs> Both trash. It's like these these issues were like aimed at us. <laughs> It was like, we're going to give Underwater Adventures for Rich, and Emily can just scream about Super Martian incoherently. <laughs> right. Oh, when I reread these and I saw that that mouth-to-mouth, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> okay, I, I mentioned this on Twitter one time, that every time Christopher Jones uh, puts up the original like inks and stuff like that uh, for comic pages from the YJ Comics on eBay... I check every single time to see if that page from this issue has gone up because I'm like, I will pay whatever you need me to pay because this issue and that scene hold a very special place in my heart. I will pay you for this. And they have never gone up on auction as far as I know yet. So I'm just continuously waiting every time he's like, put some stuff up on eBay. I'm like, "Uh, is it the one from the underwater adventure? Is it that one page? Please, please. Do you ask him specifically? No, I check. I mentioned it on Twitter once and he actually responded. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm always checking for one page. He's like, well, you can't just say that and not tell me what page it is. <laughs> and I told him and he never got back to me. So I'm just always waiting. I'm like, Christopher Jones, are you going to post the one page? And it's because I'm trash. I'm trash. But I'm trash who is not a 14-year-old anymore. So I'm a trash that has some money and could buy a oh. thing. <laughs> Tr- trash money. Yeah. But we have an episode to actually record. <laughs> Let's do it. Because I got to get to my trash. Yes. I got to dig through your trash to get to my we, trash. The, both trashes can <clears throat> coincide together. It's they terrible can, trash. They can coexist. It's wet trash. <laughs> oh, Here God, go. no. And now, before I say this next paragraph, how do you pronounce the name of this city? Oh, Shearis. 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 That's how I pronounce it. Shearis. Yeah. I just want to make sure that I don't screw it up too badly shares we can screw it up we can screw it up the same way cool together power in numbers okay poseidonus 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 that's how i say poseidonus cool cool i say poseidonus but brandon said poseidonus and that one throws me i poseidonus is how poseidonus cool cool where the where the heck was i war world oh god it's, there's it's, there's so much Atlantean in these issues. Like, I love these issues, but I'm like, I don't know how to pronounce these issues. So. You've been listening to Whelmed, the Young Justice Files podcast. Our hosts are Rich Howard and Emily Booza. Our editor and producer is Neil Powell. Our theme was composed by Emily Mio. Our logo was created by Kevin Bates. Whelmed is a fan-made podcast and is not officially affiliated with DC Comics, DC Entertainment, Warner Brothers Animation, and any other owners of Young Justice or its related source material. As such, these companies have sole ownership of all symbols, images, names, logos, and proprietary material related to Young Justice. Original content of this podcast is ours under Creative Commons. Thanks for listening, and stay whelmed. Stay whelmed.